Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So excited about what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you how to not only make a zine, but also just some different ways that you um, can, can use your zine. There's just so many different ways. I first heard about a zine online. I don't even remember exactly where, but I was really fascinated with the size of them because I love to work in small books, and I was also in love with how easy they are. I've been inspired by so many people um, when I think about making a zine, and I do want to give them credit, and I have given them credit in the show notes, so please take a look. Um, I'm going to go over and just kind of show you my zine and, and just kind of explain to you the different papers and ways that you can do a zine. Then I'm going to actually make one, show you how easy it is, and then show you the little bits and things that, um, that I like to use when creating these. This one was made by a sheet of um, column paper that you would use. Um, maybe in accounting or something or drafting and not quite sure this has a theme it's all about my body and how I view it so there's a lot more journaling than this one which I really love okay this zine is probably one of my favorites simply because I just love using file folder tabs and I like the ribbon and I've got a few little fold outs in my zine. This one was a different size, more like a traveler's notebook size, that long and more of a rectangle. And I used all of Tim Holtz paper dolls in this one for a very vintage vibe. I just used a sheet of 12 by 12 paper on this one. This is all about how I think. Um, this one, the body one, and the soul one were all inspired by the Get Messy community. And I'll leave that link here in the show notes. Here's the sole one. This is just a simple piece of copy paper. So simple, so fun, beautiful, and so effective. Just has so much meaning. This is also just copy paper that I have added collage fodder to. Inspired by Megan and the Moon. All of these were inspired by her. Let's make a zine. We are going to use a simple copy paper. This is an 11 by 17 piece. We're gonna start by folding it vertically in half. You can use a bone folder for this if you want to. I rarely do unless it's thicker paper like watercolor paper or something. So you're gonna do that. Unfold it and you're gonna fold it the other way in half. Okay. Then you're going to take it and you're going to fold it this side to the middle and then turn it around and this side to the middle. Okay, you're going to open it back up and then fold it again vertically and then you see these two middle, so you have one, two, three, four, right? You have four squares. You're going to take this in the center, the two in the center, grab your scissors, and then you're just going to cut right on that line. There's going to be a hole. Let's see how that 
close up. Okay, so then you're going to do this. You're going to just fold it. And then you're going to gonna be folding it. You're going to have to wrangle it around, wrangle it here. And that's okay. Okay, here is our copy paper zine. Now, it's okay to do your zine on just a blank piece of copy paper. But normally what I do, like for this one, okay. So on this one, I painted just one side first. Um, I did that using spray inks and water. And then I made the marks later in the book. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here next. And I did that before I actually even folded it. Um, and so I'll show you how to do that next. I have picked two of the Dilutions brand spray inks that I want to use for my zine. So this is just, again, a simple piece of copy paper. It's the 11 by 17. I'm just going to kind of randomly spray and then randomly spray some water to activate that ink. Since there is no gesso on it, it's not really going to run, but it will make it a little bit more, um, more like a paint. Then I've got my red. I mean, purple and red together is epic. I don't use it very often, but I kind of feel like doing that today. And I'll spray some water. Again, I don't have gesso on this, so that water's not going to do a whole lot. Um, I think I'm going to do one more color. Do a blue, I think. All right, I'm going to let this dry. All right, this next one, we're gonna, so this is that column paper that I used for this zine. And again, I just use like gouache and watercolors and things like that. And that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this background. I have picked some lime green paint, yellow, and a purple. I'm gonna get my spray bottle here and spray everything. And then, grab a paintbrush and I'm just going to make random um, just random colors because it looks so cool when you get it when you make your zine it just looks really 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 cool I've done here is I've taken that copy paper and then I have used collage fodder and um, just all kinds of random papers and things that I have painted on myself and then I have just glued them down with a glue stick to make a really cool random look and so that is how I got this look was just by using collage fodder and then you take white paint and I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. And then you just lightly go over it. And for whatever reason, friends, I have got pink on my brush. So guess what? We're going to have some pink. And that's going to be okay. I like how the just adding that paint, um, it doesn't make the collage water so bright. 
and then you can put things um, in your zine and write on it and things like that without feeling like you have too busy of a background. Maybe I got most of that pink out of there. I think I did. That's funny. Okay, and again, this is inspired by my art friend, Megan in the Moon. She has um, an awesome, two awesome Instagram uh, sites. She has art for a spell and her personal account, Megan in the Moon. And I watch her every day and I just love her. And so this, I'm giving her credit for this because this is what inspired me to do my zine this way. And we have our zine. And it's just perfect. It's just, it's ready to go. And again, this is what I made this out of with. I thought just for fun, so I'm a grandma and I have a cute little three-year-old grandbaby and she loves to create art with her nanny and her mommy. And we have a lot of papers that look like this. And so I thought I would show you how I'm gonna take Journey's beautiful artwork and create a little zine out of it. So again, vertical. You're gonna be able to do these in your state forms. How many times I'm showing you this? Horizontal. Half, half, half. You could even do this with your grandbaby's um, artwork and then you could make the little book and then give it to your grandbaby because I know my little grandbaby loves my little book so I need. Okay, so then remember we're looking for those two Here are those other two papers. I turned them into zines as well. This was just that copy paper that I um, put the Dilution Spray ink on. And I just think this is so cute. Love how that turned out. That's what's so fun about just randomly creating on a full size sheet and then making a zine out of it. You just never know where the paint's gonna go. I really like that, it's gorgeous. And then this is that column paper that I had taken um, the ink and, a, and some acrylic paint too. Loving that. This is gonna be so cute with marks and little treasures in there. It's gonna be such a cute book. So I've shown you all of the smaller zines. I wanted to show you, this is the largest one that I've done so far. This book is the dream book and it was inspired by Megan and the Moon again, my friend that I told you about earlier. And I believe I used um, a sheet of drawing paper for this. It was 24 by 18 is what I used to create this one. So just for kind of reference, you can see how much bigger it is than my other zines. So this turned out though just the same way and it's just as easy to make. I took the paper and again, I created um, I painted on it first and then I made the zine and then I added my marks after. These marks are from my little granddaughter, so, but I'm gonna keep them there. So this was my dream book that I made and I love this size because I can add some of those bigger images. I can add um, more to the page, which I really like to do. And so that is this one. I'm gonna just show you that. These are fun, again, when you're just doing a theme. This was just some words that I wanted to add in my life um, for this year of 2023. And so that's what the theme of this book was. Okay, so I have decided what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna show you, how I'm gonna turn this cute little piece of artwork from my granddaughter into a really treasured zine. So pretty really excited about that. This is how I usually go about making my zines. I will gather supplies 
that I want to use and just have within arm's reach because a lot of times you can create one of these in just um, a, one setting. And, um, and this particular one I am going to make fa fairly simple just so I can keep her artwork and um, really showcase that. So I picked a sheet of um, phrases that I'm going to choose from, just this one sheet. And then I've chosen a few little things like butterflies, a house, some people, things that are smaller um, that I know will fit nicely in my little zine. I've also got a little bin of all my sparklies that I like to keep. I never throw these sparkle papers, um, the scraps away, even the tiniest ones, because it is expensive and you can use these in so many ways. So I like to keep those, so I've got those handy. I also have some flowers handy, clear flowers that I thought might look pretty in there. I've got some cut up stars. And the last thing I have ready are my um, packing tape stickers that I've created myself, also inspired by Megan in the Moon. And while I'm filming this, it's actually storming outside and so my lights keep flickering on and off. So that's fun. <laughs> so. We may just be stopping in the middle of this, I'm not sure. And the last thing I need is my glue stick and then of course some scissors. So let's get let's get to work on this zine.
Courageously take risk. I love my life. I am showing my gifts are needed. I make things happen. I continue to do my own work. I do it anyway. I go where the peace is. So what you didn't see um, when I was creating, because I sped this up, but all around me, I just have, you know, I had selected a few images. I had selected, remember my trays with my glitter in it. Um, I had just one word sheet, and this word sheet I believe is from Melody Ross. And then I decided to add, um, I felt like I needed some flowers because flowers are one of my symbols. And so I just pulled out of my flower drawer this Tulip Lovers um, seed catalog that came in the mail. I've had it forever and I just pulled some flowers from that. So everything I needed I just had within arm's reach. I even um, had a few things that were already on my desk that I reached for as well. So I and I had my Posca paint pens and you saw that I used that on several of the pages to add my own marks and things. Um, this by the way if you're wondering um, I used it on several pages. This is actually from the Dollar Tree and it was in the wrapping paper section and it was on a roll. It's basically just a plastic, thin plastic sheet of amazing silver um, glitter. 
paper is what it is. So, and it was very cheap, $1.25, so you can't beat that. Um, but this was very easy to make. It was so simple, but so meaningful. I will have a little book, you know, with the theme to remind me that what I'm doing matters and my dreams matter and I am progressing. And so when I need a little pick me up, I can just pick this zine up and look through it. So I hope it has helped you to see how many different ways you can make these cute little books. I hope it helped you, um, just to show you how I create one from start to finish. This was so much fun. And if you make a zine, I would love to know. Please tag me in it on Facebook. Um, if we're not friends, friend me, Leslie Jackson Ackman. You can also find me at Sacred Feather Soul Journaling, which is, that is my Instagram name. And it is also my group name. I'll put all those things in the show notes along with uh, Megan in the Moon, who inspired me to really start going crazy and creating these beautiful zines. I hope this has been informative and fun for you and I'll see you soon. Bye.